You've arrived on a very special occasion. It's our top six gothic horror romance movies of all time. Here we go. Are you ready for some dark sticky fun? Hi, I'm Ron Fitzgerald, master of the dark realm, which means if we haven't met before, I'm an actor, gothic illusionist, and creator of dark sticky fun for you. Uh, yes, you're welcome. And uh, today's dark sticky fun is uh, the top six gothic horror romance movies of all time. And we are going to explore the dark culture of romance and the romance of dark culture, I suppose. It could go either way. Uh, it's uh, Anyway, it's romance for the dark and sticky people, for the creatures of the night, which I'm assuming is you since you're watching this. It certainly is me since I'm making it. So let's get on with the countdown. Straight in, uh, first up at number six, the wonderfully atmospheric ghost story, Crimson Peak. Ghosts are real. I've seen them all my life. Ghosts? I never imagined that's what you wrote about. It's, um, rather good, don't you think? Really? You see, where I come from, ghosts are not to be taken lightly. I understand your fascination with the Sharps. Edith, this is my sister. But proceed with caution. I feel as if a, a link exists between your heart and mine. How do you manage this house? It's a privilege you were born into, and one we can never relinquish. Would you mind getting me a copy of the house keys, please? You don't need one. There are parts of the house that are unsafe. And these rotting walls in the dark. There are secrets everywhere. Has anyone died in this house? If you're here with me, give me a signal. <sighs> Specific deaths. Violent deaths. The house as old as this one becomes, in time, a living thing. It starts holding on to things. Some of them good. Some are bad. Some should never be spoken about again. What is it? What do you want? Gorgeous. Very creepy. Great atmosphere. Love the story. And it looks beautiful. Crimson Peak coming in at number six. Now, uh, next up on our gothic horror romance movies of all time countdown, uh, who do you think of? When I ask you to think of, you know, a dark culture couple, the gothic romance horror couple, uh, you know, the quintessential couple, uh, who do you think of? Romeo and Juliet, perhaps, uh, who died tragically? Uh, maybe Sid and Nancy, who also died tragically. Um, or maybe, uh, if you're like me, we're all thinking of, yeah, that's right, uh, Morticia and Gomez, the Adams family, and the ultimate gothic horror romance family, anyway. So here we are, coming in at number five with the Adams family. When we first met years ago, it was an evening much like this. Magic in the air. Boy, a girl, an open grave. You were so beautiful, pale and mysterious. No one even looked at the corpse. Ah, miss! Wednesday, play with your food. Is this made from real lemons? Yes. How about a cup? If you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Are they made from real Girl Scouts? 
thing, you're a handful. I've done this before. This holiday season, they'll make you feel right at home. Last night, you're like some desperate howling demon. You frightened me. Do it again. The Adams Family. Sorry. All right, give me the Adam snap. Yes, the Adams family. Morticia and Gomez, you can't, you know, you can't go wrong there now, can you? And um, Wednesday, uh, Christina Ricci doing a perfect Wednesday Adams there. So let's move on with the countdown into our next one. Uh, wonderfully atmospheric, another period piece, and a little bit of Tim Burton coming into the countdown here along with uh, Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. Yes, uh, here we go. Sleepy Hollow at number four. Constable Ichabod Crane, sent from New York to investigate murder in Sleepy Hollow. How much of your superiors explained to you? Only that the three were slain in open ground, their heads severed from their bodies. Taken by the headless horseman, taken back to hell. He rode a giant black steed to look at him, made your blood run cold. Even today, the western woods is a haunted place where brave men will not venture. We have murders in New York without benefit of ghouls and goblins. You're a long way from New York, Constable. Is everyone in this village enthralled to superstition? We have many things to talk about, even in this backward place. Excuse my man. I'm not used to. Female company? Murder! The Orphan's killed again! The assassin is a man of flesh and blood, and I will discover him. Are you so certain of everything? Perhaps there's a bit of a witch in you, Katrina. Why do you say that? Because you've been witched to me. All right, and we're back. And Sleepy Hollow, you also had uh, Christopher Walken as the Headless Horseman. And you can't get creepier than that because that was pretty fun in that movie, too. Uh, it's one of Ed the Deadhead's favorite movies. He's bouncing around here somewhere. If we're lucky, he won't show up. And now let's move on with the countdown. Uh, and, our, and the next one here, nothing says gothic horror romance quite like coming back from the dead to avenge the death of yourself and your beloved. Here we are, number three, The Crow. People once believed that when someone dies, a crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. But sometimes, just sometimes, the crow can bring that soul back to put the wrong things right. Forever. 
kind of gives you chills even now. Uh, Brandon Lee, what can you say? I mean, it is sad that he's gone, but he left us making a very, very iconic uh, movie. So stylish, so amazing. I, I know there's there's talks of remaking that, but I, you know, nothing will quite live up to that. Uh, an amazing cast, an amazing film based on the James O'Barr uh, comics, which are so stunning in themselves. And then um, uh, we can say the, the lovely and talented Bai Ling, who you see right here, I got to meet her at a screening of The Crow at a horror event we were both appearing at. And she had some really interesting insights, uh, such as it was one of her first movies. She wasn't even speaking English at the time, and she had to do the whole role speaking phonetically. Pretty amazing. And it came off, the way, the way it came off in her language really worked perfectly with that creepy character where she wants to take out everybody's eyeballs. So very fun. And uh, so that was uh, number three, The Crow. Now we move up into the top of the countdown, number two. I feel like I should be an 80s DJ right now. I don't know why. It's, it's a scary throwback. Uh, but here at number two, uh, what can you say? Another iconic film, one of the favorites. It doesn't really need an introduction. So here is number two, Edward Scissorhands. What can you say, Edward Scissorhands? More dark, sticky Tim Burtony goodness. Uh, Tim, give me a call when you're making another one. So, uh, but a great cast, Johnny Depp, in, in an iconic role for him, something early on, and uh, and then uh, Winona Ryder, who you can we can currently see in Stranger Things as well. Great fun, a uh, beautiful movie, kind of gives you chills, doesn't it? Um, not just from the fake snow. So let's move on now to our number one, the top of our pile of six uh, gothic horror romance movies of all time. Uh, let me know down in the chat down here, down down there, um, uh, you know, what you like, if you, you have any predictions for number one, and you can tell me later, you know, what you thought of the countdown, anything you would add, anything you would delete, anything you would move around, let us know, let me know. I'm, I'm curious to see what your countdown would look like, but here's the number one on mine. Uh, and I uh, only need uh, the introduction of this to kind of set it up. You'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know where I'm going. Uh, I have crossed oceans of time to find you. Number one, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Here occurred the frightening and shocking history of Prince Dracula and the woman he loved. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. 
Ja. Dracul. There is a sinister, darker side to him. I find irresistible. I have never met any man with such a passion for life. He is unlike any man. What are you? Vampires do exist. This one we fight, this one we face. It can take on many forms. He is both young and old. He can appear as mist, as vapor, as the fog. And he can vanish at will. Oh, my love. The power of his evil desire has no end. You've got to go to him. You've got to love him. She is a willing recruit and devoted disciple. She is the devil's concubine. Jagger! Join me in the eternal life. Your salvation is his destruction. Yeah! I want to be what you are. I want to be what you be. I want to love what you love. Take me away from all this death. No mistake, he must be stopped. Coming in at number one, that was Bram Stoker's Dracula, because nothing says gothic horror romance and passion for life like, let's drink some blood and hang out for your few centuries, dear. Uh, all good. And um, the devil's concubine? Well, of course. Who doesn't want to date the devil's concubine for a few centuries and drink some blood? Absolutely. Uh, what a great cast. You got Anthony Hopkins, you know, oh, la, la, I'm still screaming, Clarice, in there as <laughs> Van Helsing. Uh, you got Winona Ryder again and, uh, and Gary Oldman, Oscar winning Gary Oldman playing Dracula himself an amazing performance and from an amazing actor i mean and there's been a long line of amazing actors that have played uh you know uh, dracula uh, you know from gary oldman bella lugosi and uh christopher lee and myself i've even had a go at dracula uh because i give good vampire and you can see this, uh, here's the poster for it right here uh a, a very little known underground movie called um dracula's Orgy of the Damned. Uh, don't go looking for it. It didn't. It didn't have uh, the rest of the the rest of the casting. It didn't have the the writing or the budget of um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. It was basically made for pocket change and lint. Uh, is, is, so you you have been warned. Don't go looking for it. Anyway, um, uh, I, I did bring the orgy, however, to the orgy of the damned, and for that. I am very proud. <laughs> so what do you think of the top six gothic horror romance countdown of all time here in the realm? Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun? I enjoyed the trailers. Your lineup might be a little different. Let me know down in the chat. This is also where I am told I need to tell you and ask you like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, share it for sure. If you like the show, share it with uh, your other dark, sticky, romantic, romantic peeps and creeps. Uh, but please uh, subscribe for more Dark Sticky Fun. Hit the bell notification if you want to know when we're making more of these. And, of course, like it because it sends it out into the youtube verse for more Dark Sticky people to find this stuff. So I thank you, and I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here in the realm. Stay in store